watch my videos for any length of time, you know that I love LEDs. They're so versatile for tons of projects. And I've been asked before, hey, Kip K, can you make an LED light bulb? And the answer is yes. To make our LED light bulb, we're going to need a bunch of tiny LEDs, two types of capacitors, a couple of resistors, four diodes, and a bulb casing. I'll also be using printed circuit boards to help me build the bulb faster. Now don't worry about not knowing where to find the parts to build your own LED light bulb. I'll let you know where to find them at the end of the video. Oh, and I know you can just go to the store and buy an LED light bulb. That's not the point of this video, as in most of my projects. It's educational. It teaches you how to build a cool light bulb on your own. That's the point. All right, we'll start off with this large 20 ohm resistor, and it's going to go right on the printed circuit board where it shows the resistor. Polarity is not important here, so lay it in place and then make the two solder connections on the back. Now it's time for four diodes, and what these do is allow the current to only go in one direction, and the small line on the diode is the direction the current goes in. So we'll put those in place on the board as well and solder them down. Then it's time for a couple of resistors. These are one mega ohm resistors, and they also have an R1 and R2 marking on the board where they will go. Again, solder them in place. Up next is a 4.7 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. That's a mouthful. Now this component does have polarity. The longer leg is positive, and as shown here, the side with a stripe is the negative side. There's also a place on the board for this, so solder it down. Then bend it, baby. And guess what? This is the last component. It's a 1.8 microfarad capacitor. This does not have polarity. Put it on the board in the spot marked and solder it down. We also have to bend this component down like the other capacitor just to make it nice and neat and compact. Now you just built the power unit. This will convert our home electricity to voltage that will power our LEDs. Now we'll need a couple of small wires just for positive and negative, so put those in place. Now with my Kip K kit, I'm also going to send you the casing that will hold the power unit and the LEDs. So we'll solder the two wires coming from the casing to our power unit. Well, you're probably wondering, where are the LEDs? Well, here they come. This pre-printed cover has a complete layout for all 38 LEDs, showing positive and negative locations. And remember, with LEDs, the longer leg is positive, the shorter leg is negative. So it's time to start laying them in place on our printed board, and I'm only going to do a few at a time or else it gets really confusing. That way, if you do a few and you need to make some adjustments to make them straight, you can do that. Continue adding LEDs and check your solder connections as you go to make sure there's no shorts. When you're done, you'll have a 38 LED cover for our light bulb. Now, once all your solder connections are good, go ahead and trim those leads off the LEDs. Now, remember the two wires that we originally soldered to our power unit? There's a positive and negative, and those will go to the positive and negative place on the LED cover. We are almost done. A little bit of hot glue on the circuit board and push it down inside the casing. Make sure it doesn't come in contact with our LED cover. Then drop our LED cover in place, and then take the frosted bulb top and snap it in. You've just made your very own LED light bulb. Now we're going to take it and screw it into our lamp cord, turn on the switch, and we've got light. It's super bright, and you could even change the color of the LEDs if you wanted to, put red ones in or green ones in on your own. But we're not quite done yet. Shang Fang to the rescue. This is a 30-piece interlocking kit that I'll send you along with all the other parts so you can make a really cool lampshade. Now, I decided to build the 30-piece one. It's a big round globe that goes together like a puzzle piece. And when you're done, your LED light bulb will fit right inside. And that's how to make your very own DIY LED light bulb. Now, many of my fans ask me all the time, where do you get the materials to build your projects? And one of the biggest complaints is the parts are just too expensive. Now, I'm questioned so much that I decided to make some of the projects in my videos available for purchase as kits on my website at kipkkits.com. Now, this is an affordable way for you to get started with DIY electronics. If you were to buy the parts alone for this project, it would cost you three to four times as much. And it's convenient because there are other Kip K fans like yourself on my online learning portal that will help you when you get stuck building a project. And of course, it's an easy way to support the work that I do so I can continue bringing you video projects. So, what exactly do you get? The beginner kit comes with everything you need to build an LED bulb. The hobbyist kit comes with a bulb and 30 pieces of the puzzle lamp cover. You can use this to build just about anything your imagination can dream of. 
And don't worry, if you don't have any experience in reading schematics or even electrical engineering, these kits are designed for people with absolutely no experience. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to an online learning portal where you'll get step-by-step -step instructions, HD videos and pictures, as well as an online community of thousands of Kip K superfans who will help you complete the project. Click the link in the video or the link in the description below to check this kit out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.